And Ben, what's happened this morning? This morning we've started our first day of action um, after failed talks uh, for the annual pay talks for 2016. Uh, the uh, members have uh, made a clear mandate to the GMB that they wanted this action. It was a, a last course of action. Uh, unfortunately, pay talks have failed and we see ourselves now um, using a, the first day of action as a, a, a pinnacle area for Tangerine, who have never been out on strike before. And unfortunately, uh, we see ourselves in this position and we're encouraging the employer to get back to us to uh, improve the offers that we saw in negotiations. So what sort of offer are staff looking for? Uh, certainly an improvement on what it was in negotiations. It was 1%. Um, so we're looking at anything above 1% uh, with any benefits. Uh, the demands early in the pay talks were about 1.5%, so we're looking at an increase of 1%. Um, in the dispute itself, the trade dispute, the company came back with a 1.25% increase with a 15 minute break. However, uh, that was only going to be backdated till April this year, uh, and that quarter percent would have been lost straight away. And how long is the strike action expected to go for at this we've stage? Got, we've got four days action, um, and it starts today. That'll be a 24 hour strike uh, where we'll see the shift changes. Um, at 2 o'clock this afternoon and again at 10 o'clock for the night shift. Uh, there's proposed strikes for uh, Monday the 14th and the 16th well, Wednesday. Um, and again on the 30th there'll be another 24 hour strike. What would be the best outcome in this situation considering the pushback you've had from Tangerine at this stage? The best outcome would be that the, the, the company come back to us and speak to us uh, you know, following this day's dispute. Uh, I, I'd like the company to come back and have a chat with us and talk to us about an improved offer immediately. Uh, they've discussed ideas around a two-year deal, however it's open to the uh, colleagues, the, the workers and members to respond to that and hopefully have an amicable set a settlement at the end of the day. Um, why is an increase in wages so important in an area like York? Geographically, it's, it's a high rental place, it's, the mortgages are high, so uh, the cost of living in the York area is, is, is a lot different from the other areas that we have, Tangerine sites, Pontefract, um, Cleck Eaton in uh, South Yorkshire. So um, we're looking to uh, improve on that, and obviously with the erosion of terms and conditions where they've lost paid breaks, they've lost um, hand wash time, it's, it's important that we keep pushing on the uh, what I would say is a fair and reasonable offer of about 1.25% this year.